And Polich will lay them away. Gawe racing as the green one is shown. Leerenfeld on the outside. Nathan Polich down the inside. Terry Leerenfeld will try to stay with him. Next one back then is Jaden Stone in the seven car. Terry Leerenfeld was in the race lead. Drifted a little wide coming out of turn number four. Race leader Nathan Polich, Terry Leerenfeld settled down to argue the point for the distance of uh, the mod light feature. Down the main straight away, Terry Leerenfeld up high on the racetrack. Nathan Pollich down low, back in position number three is Jaden Stone. Next one there would be Pacey Clegg as they go down the back straight and into turns three and four and Terry Leerenfeld has gained the advantage up higher on the racetrack. Here's the race leader as they go under the tower back to Nathan Pollich. Getting in all sorts of trouble was Jaden Stone, allowing Pacey Clegg to uh, sneak by into position number three. And they're going to settle down and argue the point with Mitch Pamenta. The Mitch Pamenta is the one up high on the racetrack. So Mitch Pamenta, Pacey Clegg in there too in the seven car is Jaden Stone and trying to join into the little argument is Bevan Collins. But right now, Terry Leerenfeld, absolutely flying away out the front. Terry Leerenfeld, Nathan Pollich, back then to Mitch Pamenta in a position number three. Pacey Clegg would be the next one. Jaden Stone doing battle there with Bevan Collins under the control tower goes our race leader. And right now, Terry Leerenfeld out in the fresh air all by himself, but not too far away. Is Nathan Pollich. So these two continue to battle out the front couple of positions. Chasing hard is Mitch Pamenta in the 82 car back. In position number four is a Pacey Clegg. Just closing that gap a little bit as they head down the main straightaway. Nathan Pollich, he's not too far away as a Terry Leerenfeld leaves a little bit of a gap on the inside. Pollich says thank you. Leerenfeld gets offline again. It's not over by a long way down the main straightaway. Terry Leerenfeld, just to the better of Nathan Pollich. Pollich comes again down the inside. They're side by side around the western corner. And in fact, Sean Egan is going to be the one who may take some position of this under the control tower. Sean Egan's the 41 car. Nathan Pollich down low. Terry Leerenfeld up high and Nathan Pollich goes back into the race lead as they go again side by side down the main straight away white flag out Nathan Pollich, Terry Leerenfeld nothing in it side by side down the back chute into the western corner who is going to be there at the end who can get some drive off turn four down the main straight away Terry Leerenfeld Nathan Pollich. Mitch Pamenta comes home in position number three. Pacey Clegg in front of Bevan Collins. Next one home, Jaden Stone. Well, Sean Egan completed the journey as well. Great racing, great racing folks. Put your hands together for him. Terry Leerenfeld, it's not over till it's over side by side all the way and Terry Leerenfeld takes out Mod Light feature race tonight and he will be very very happy hasn't had the uh, the best of nights but feature race win in the Mod Lights here tonight we will have a quick word as we said 
after Christmas they've got the Mod Light Mayhem. Archerfield, Gimpy and Meribara. Four nights in a row. Well, Terry, fantastic effort, great stuff. Yeah, he kept me honest. That was good fun, though. Nice hooky track, and yeah, I was a little bit soft, but yeah, we made it happen. That was great. Okay, where to from here? I know you've got a big, big couple of days on race meetings coming up. Yeah, I've got the Modelite like Mayhem, I think, from the 29th, with four nights of race in Archerfield, Gympie, and two nights at Maribar are coming up. So yeah, looking forward to that. Four nights. How do you do that? I don't know. Caring wife, I suppose. There he goes, folks. Put your hands together for him. Terry Lehrer. <laughs>